G'day guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Mary. Welcome to another page of my life. Welcome to Mary One is Dairy. channel this is mary welcome to another page of my life welcome to mary one is dairy and today's video is another sit down video for you guys and this time pag-uusapan natin how do i come up with my decision of becoming an international student here in australia so if you're interested just hang around and sit around if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so click the red button below so you can be notified each time i upload video so going back to the topic guys, yeah, this time pag-uusapan natin yung decision process ko kung bakit ba gusto kong maging international student dito sa Australia, bakit ginusto kong mag-student visa na lang instead of any other visa na available dito sa Australia. So just a quick background lang guys, I'm a bachelor degree holder in the Philippines and I have more than 3 years of fruitful experience in an accounting department. That's why I come up with a question na wala bang um, any other way na pumunta na Australia or magtrabaho sa Australia na hindi mag student visa. Kaya naman, tinanong ko yun si agent ko. So sinabi niya sa akin, yun nga yung 3 option na po pwede kang pumunta sa Australia na pwede kang magtrabaho. There are 3 ways of coming into Australia na po pwede mag Pwede kang magtrabaho. One is through a permanent residency. Second is through working visa. And number three is through student visa. Sinabi lang niya sa akin, the easiest way of coming and working in Australia is through the student visa. Kasi less than a year or less than six months, magkakaroon, na ng, magkakaroon ka na ng visa. At secondly, sinabi rin niya sa akin, yung educational system natin, during that time, nung time ko, is hindi kasi level ng education dito sa Australia. So, ngayon lang na-introduce yung K-12, meaning, yung bachelor degree holder ko, o yung pinag-aralan ko nung college, is not equivalent to the bachelor degree you are having here in Australia. Yung option na pagiging permanent residency and working visa, it's really questionable for me kasi since working visa, kailangan ko ng employer. Kung titingin kayo sa mga POEA or any other agencies na available, marami silang binibigay na qualification or the requirement that an Australian company should hire directly from Philippines to Australia e eh parang talagang questionable. Since yung education natin is not as same level ng education dito sa Australia. And secondly, you, my experience doesn't suit their qualification then kasi since my experience is not on managerial level. So, I don't think I can grab the working visa. So, secondly, pag permanent residency, the same thing. I need qualification, Australian qualification and experience. And since yung permanent visa is more longer time than working visa or student visa, kaya hindi ko na rin siya consider. So, I have to start from the scratch. I don't have any other ways of explaining to you thoroughly kung ano ba yung, paano ba ako nag-come up with my decision na gusto kong mag-student visa. Uh, siguro, I'll just do this pros, pros and cons. And wherein yung pros is the positive side of being a student visa here in Australia. And cons is the negative side. So, dun tayo mag-start sa pros which is the positive side of becoming an international student dito sa Australia. So, number one, being an international student or student visa, is this, this is the easiest way to come here in Australia and work. Dahil sa timeline niya. So, on my part, on my experience, I got my visa maybe 3 to 4 months. Alam kong medyo matagal na yung time frame na yun. Kasi nung time na yun, um, I applied for one pathway which is certificate, diploma, and then bachelor. 
So, but then again, naubos ang doko ng slot para doon sa sa mga, sa pathway na yon So, we come up into another pathway na na sure na na makakakuha ko ng slot. So, yun ang nangyari. Kaya, umabot siya ng hanggang 4 months. Maybe 3 and a half months. Pero, yeah. Uh, compared with working visa and getting a PR, student visa is an easiest way. Or, dahil sa timeline nga niya, masyadong, medyo maliit lang yung uh, paghihintay mo. So, number two advantage of becoming a student is yun, makakapag-work ka na up to 20 hours every week, 40 hours every fortnightly, meaning 40 hours on every two weeks. So, tapos meron ka pa rin chance makapagtrabaho when you're on school holiday or your semestral break or term break. And number three, we're able to meet a lot of people kasi lalo na dito sa Sydney, you were able to meet a lot of nationality. Meron tayong, you can even talk with an um, Indian people, Nepali, Korean, Chinese. So, you got stuck off with different people. Hindi lang siya Pilipino. So, multicultural na siya. Kaya, maganda siya. You got to mingle with different cultures. At talaga makikita mo yung differences between Asian and then European. And then, yun. Masarap kasi parang... Uh, it's a different thing for you kasi hindi laging Pilipino yung kausap mo. So, talagang yung struggle mo sa pag english ay eh, talagang grabe. Talagang to the max, one no bleed ka. And last but not the least, uh, you can able to live here in Australia. You can, you can learn to adopt its culture. And uh, hindi lang culture ng Australia, pati yung culture din ng ibang tao the country itself, maganda ang Australia, libre mga beaches, maganda yung mga places, kahit nasa park ka lang, you would I really appreciate uh, the beauty of nature. You got a chance to live here. So, let's go to the negative side, which is the cons. Of course, being a student visa, kailangan mo magbayad ang tuition. It's really costly, expensive siya, especially if you're studying bachelor degree at even more kung sa mga universities you really have to work hard to pay your bills kasi aside from your tuition fee you have your accommodation you have your phone plan you have your food uh what else you have your electricity you have your wi-fi so hindi lang tuition fee ang ang, ang bills mo dito so you really have to work hard to pay for to pay for them. Eh, yung cost of living naman dito is really high enough, especially and kung andi dito kayo sa Sydney. So, sa so yun ang disadvantage. And last but not the least, finishing your course doesn't guarantee you na magiging permanent residency ka dito sa Australia. So, it, there's a lot of process beneath that kasi kailangan mong mag-come up to their standards. Kailangan mong um, emit yung mga pointing system for permanent residency. Being a student visa doesn't guarantee you that you can be a permanent residency here in Australia. But this is just a way or a pathway going there. Pero kailangan mo lang mag-undergo ng process nila. You have to meet their standards. You have to meet their pointing system for you to become an immigrant here in Australia. So, for you to become an immigrant here, kailangan mong mag sa standard nila. Kailang mo ding i-adapt yung system nila. So, it takes a lot of hard work and patience just to get that permanent residency. But the thing is, pag nakuha nyo naman yung permanent residency here, it would be a lot more easier. Kasi, syempre, ba? You can get the benefit. Kaya naman, if you're planning to come here in Australia, don't think of a shorter term. Kailangan, you have to think of the longer period or the longer term you would have here. Kasi, so, hindi lahat ng tao is mapalad na makapunta dito at ma-experience yung na-experience na at ma-experience yung Australian life. So, that's why you really have to work hard for it. At alam ko naman na kayang-kaya natin, kayang-kaya nyo rin. So, kung kayang-kaya ko, kayang-kaya nyo rin. So, so, I think that's all for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on my next vlog. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.